Look what I found. Pot. We better take them all in. Money, go home, baby. Now. Home! Bondsmen out there. One's as good as another. Judge told you last time that he didn't want to see you again. <laughs> Should have drowned out there. Anton Rosie, arresting Officer Erickson. <laughs> Alias Chabasco. You're a big wind, eh? A cyclone. From the looks of it, you got yourself tagged right. Convicted of assault and battery, two counts. Vagrancy. Parole extended to two years. You asked for another chance. Judge North gave it to you. So tonight. Now, three months later, you're at it again. Aren't you ever going to learn you just can't go around hitting an officer? Okay, kid, Judge North is waiting for you. If you weren't smoking marijuana, why did you have to run? What made you hit the policeman? What goes on inside that hot head of yours? Are you a psycho or something? Or just plain nuts? Or... You had to tell her father. You were going to kill him. You know what he'd do to him. You should have thought of that before. You two know the ground rules in a Portuguese fisherman's house. They're antique. Oh, the law is no good. Antique? Not for you. You won't settle for anything less than killing him. What do you want from me? What do I want from you? 
You are about to be flushed, and you ask what? Oh, you think that's funny, huh? You just don't give a damn, do you? No, you don't understand that. No, that's right, I don't understand. What's so funny about not giving a damn? Well, it's kind of an inside joke. You pulling the chain on me. No, 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 not me. You. You are the one who did it. All right, me. So stop playing Big Daddy, okay? Maybe I'll get time off for good behavior. They cut my hair, my whole personality will change anyway. Maybe you're just not worth saving. If you only knew what you were in for, I'd rather nail you to a cross. under my nose the whole time. I never saw it. Now, let's uh, get me Nick Castle at the tuna cannery, please. I'm going to ask a favor of an old friend. If you blow this one, Buster, I'll personally make sure they pull the chain. Nicholas Cassell, just call me Nick, like everybody does. Call me Chabasco, everybody does. Will I have to sign for anything? No, they told me to wait if you want me to. Well, I'll see he gets to wherever he's supposed to yes, be. Yes, sir, just that... Uh... It's all right, officer, you've nothing to worry about. Your father was a fisherman all his life, and I wouldn't be surprised if you've never even seen the inside of a cannery. Yeah. Yeah, well, you made a lot of money out of fish, and I wouldn't be surprised you never even caught one. When I was getting only a quarter share, I fished with your father. He wouldn't change places with anybody. He got just what he wanted out of life. Do you know my mother, too? Let's get something straight right now. You're not out from behind those bars by a long shot. I don't know what the judge told you, but I made no promises, no guarantees. The judge is my friend. I don't owe you a damn thing. The average kid today doesn't even know what work is. And I've got a pretty good feeling you're just about average. You'll cry till they send you home. But I'm going to stick my neck out with this, Skipper, only because of your father, who I thought a lot of, and for your mother, who I never even met. Wait here. Nick, if the canneries keep buying Japanese for more than you're paying us, you know what I'm going to do like all the other guys did already? I'm going to take my boat, my family, the whole schmear, and I'm going to fish out of Costa Rica, Peru. Yeah, I'm telling you. What do you say we have a snort before lunch, huh? No lunch. Wish I could. Okay, I... well, now, uh, how about one belt, and then you can tell me what's on your mind. Okay. okay? Let's go. Chabasco's kid. <laughs> I remember when he was born. All Chabasco needed was an excuse to head for Pescado. There was this stateside girl who was on his kids. Her name was Angela. That's right. <laughs> Our Angela. All right, come and get it. 
Uh, you sure you don't want to fight? Friday, Trevino. No, thanks. Okay. You want to forget about the kid? Look, why don't I just send him back? Oh, no, no, no. No, Nick. No, if we don't take care of our own kind, who will? Okay, Skipper. I'd like to be able to tell the judge we tried. But I'll tell you one thing, you sure don't need this pothead. Wait till you see this beetle. <laughs> Hey, take that stinking thing off. I ought to have my head examined. Never again. I swear it. Never again. If they ever find him, I'll knock his ears off. Hey, Nick, before you call the cops, look in the galley, huh? Okay? Now, this skipper's not like some of the others. You can talk to him and he'll listen. He ain't gonna mind me coming down here and eating without asking, is he? Hey, kid. You, no kid. You taking Francisco's place? The old man's son-in-law got drafted. He's in there, huh? Yeah. What made you so sure? No kid runs away on an empty stomach. I'll deliver him back to me before he gets on your nerves. Sorry I bothered you. Good luck, Lorindo. Give my best to your missus. OK, Nate. All right. What are you, a beetle or something? Why you don't cut your hair? If I the skipper, I don't let no beetles on my boat. Look, he's a nice looking kid. Why don't you have less to cook, cut your hair? He used to be a professional. Hey, cool it. Chip off the old block. Uh, just wish you were half the fisherman your father was. Right? What's your story? What I like to do, you don't get bread for. I got this girl in a... Oh, uh, you have to marry her, huh? No, I don't have to marry her. Well, all they told me was you're no good kid. A professional beach bum who makes like a big man by hitting cops. They gave you third chance, you blew it, and now it's fish or break rocks. Right? Yeah, you're right. I don't give a damn about anything. This to you, you know. Hey! Chabasco, where do you think I've gone? There ain't no skin off your back. You just come back here! Now, as long as you're on my boat, you give me the same respect you give your own father, you understand? I want you to be on this boat at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. You get a quarter of one share. Here's 50 bucks. Buy something right to wear. Now, you call me at my house tonight. I just want to know that you're keeping your nose clean, understand? OK, get going. Hey! I'm in the telephone book. Call me, but not too late. I got some homework myself. And at my age, it takes me all night to do what I used to do all night. <laughs> How much can we save? You might as well let them have some free time. Those young punks are better off here. 
You got no right to take it around them just because your daughter. Just because my daughter what? My daughter-in-law works at City Hall. She saw you go in. She didn't mean to snoop, Sebastian. I told her. Nobody will know. I would have done the same thing you did. What good father wouldn't? Well, if I ever get my hands on that young punk again. Okay, Sebastian. Okay, okay. Where's the new net? They expect me to catch tuna with my bare hands? Hmm? I'll get them off their fat bottoms. I'm telling you. Okay, Star, I said, Rokorando. My father's fishing boots. 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 Fishing shoes. My father's fishing shoes. Where'd you put them? The whale must have got those boots like he got your father. The whale didn't get my father, Grandma. And I'm not your son. I'm the son of the son of the man who the whale got. Now, where did you put those boots? Don't you understand? I'm going fishing. Fishing? I knew it when you got into the house. You'll be gone away for a long time. You'll be all right, Grandma. I talked to him down at the Union Hall. You'll be all right till I get back. I'll not be here if you are gone for a long time. I'll not be here. Grandma, we don't have to stay away as long as they used to, not anymore. A fishing man must have a good woman waiting in his bed. Omar e un puta. Puta? She's a whore? Sosegado, sonie, quando se vai, la lombra. Still in the room? Yes, Sebastian. Hello? Hello. Who the... What are you doing later? I'm going to be someplace in about 15 minutes.
Hey, you! Okay, kid, what did you do? Now you're not running for kicks. You hopped up or something? I gotta have that for fishing. Fishing? You mean you left that trick roll in the telephone booth to go fishing? Better talk fast, otherwise we're gonna have to take it down to the station. Daddy, please. I'm not gonna tell you again. Get back upstairs and get out of those clothes. You're not going anywhere tonight or any night for a long time. Daddy, why? Why? I've done nothing wrong. Oh, please, Daddy, you've got to believe me. Nothing wrong. My daughter says she's done nothing wrong. She thinks she's done nothing wrong. Well, I'll teach her. I'll teach her. If I have to break your back, I'll teach. Tell your father I gotta talk to him. Oh, he ain't home. What'd you do now, Chabasco? I didn't do anything. He was going fishing tomorrow like I am. Come on, let's get going. He fished for your father. Come on, we haven't got all night. Come on. <laughs> What's the trouble, officer? Hey, Skipper. It's me, Chabasco. Uh, these, these guys don't believe I'm going fishing. They, they picked me up for no reason, and this guy thinks my marlin knife's a weapon. Do you know this kid, sir? Yes, sir. I know him.
Somehow, baby, I'll get into a port. I'll send you some money so you can fly down. God, I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you so much. Don't let anything happen to you, okay? Okay. Let it go. Your old man catch me on it, he'll kill us. I don't care. It's not wrong. I don't care. I still get that same feeling every time I leave out. We call it shadow fever. Well, in the old country, they call it Curaçao Duet. The Lonely Heart. Why don't you grab some shack time, kid? You're not gonna learn everything first time out. Hello, Buggin. He's oddball, huh, Skipper? With that long hair, I think maybe we got Greek sailor. Hey, 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 Matish, you shut your mouth. Why you yell at me, Skipper? I got no right to say what I think. Stand in your shadow. You better stop baiting that thing. Quit while you're ahead, friend. You yes, saw. He walked away. Yeah. Well, maybe he's getting smart. Oh, he's got enough troubles without killing an old man. <laughs> Sea dogs, they're all alike. When I was a pup, they rubbed my nose in it good just to teach me. What are you looking for out there? Fish, what else? I'll get snuffy with me, boy. Look, what do you want me to do? You want me to bite or you want me to fish? You won't spot any fish this close in. A uh, three day run south, maybe, if we're lucky. Told if the water's clean and you look hard enough, you'll fine tune it. What crap shooter told you that? My old man. Oh. Okay, your old man is right. 
Go ahead, take a look, be my guest. Hey, Chabasco! You know what to look for? Yeah! Birds and porpoise! My grandmother told me that! troubles I might be able to help but with your daughter <laughs> I've made all the mistakes so even if I try to give you advice don't pay any attention hello Ned hello I just don't want my daughter to wind up like some of the others well, what's she done that's got you so hot under the collar if you haven't heard I'm not gonna tell you ah oh, come on come on it can't be that bad well it will be if I don't do something about it it's tough when you're away more than you're home you just gave me an idea you think your wife would stand for living in Peru for a couple of years? for Bernadette to leave school and her friends. It can freeze over 600 tons. And that's twice the payload of the Mary Barbara. What do you mean it won't be easy for her? I made the deal right there and then because it's the best thing that could happen to her. Taxes down there should give you a chance to pay back the money you've borrowed. I'm gambling everything for her. When do you think we'll be leaving? Well, they want me like the day before yesterday. You two will come down there when I send for you. Now, tomorrow, you both start getting your passports and your shots. The cannery will send over the tickets and make the plane reservations when you tell them. Well, you've blown yourself out. That's right, that's right, Sanfringer. You just relax. Hey, listen, you know what? Cookie Les used to have the fanciest beauty parlor in all of Beverly Hills. How about that? Hey, you call this coffee? Stink, boy. You cut hair like you cook, more better you stay a gigolo. You open your mouth again, you old bag of wind, so help me, I'll slit your tongue. Oh, come on, Delilah. This Samson needs plucking right now. Who are you calling Delilah? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, hey, Skipper, hey, good going, huh? You all right, kid? When I talk to you, you answer. You all right? I look all right, don't I? I think you look very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> you ever lay a hand on me again, I swear I'm gonna kill you. Believe it. And that goes for the rest of you. you done? All you big boys. You didn't even get one sliver of his curly locks.
I fish all my life. I know more about fishing than those young smart Alex can read and write. I'm older than you, Lorinda. And I tell you, it won't be long before we knock and wrap the net around those tuna. We're going to be back to bait fishing. Jerry's got us all hating the world like he does. All right, let's go. Arriba, arriba! They're coming up. Let's get with it. Arriba, arriba! Arriba! Get your tail up here. Don't you take your eyes off that school. There's over 200 ton out there. We can drop up 80,000 to that ain't hay. Let's go, that parka! Clear the gear off that net! Get the skiff ready! Come on, Let's go! 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 Let's go!
Watch that cable! started. Watch those nets. Take it easy. You made me promise to come and see you every day. But if you don't want me to, I could telephone. I'm sure that'd be just as good. Don't you think so? No. He would be very angry. Winter Zangado. I know he'd be angry, but I just hate to bother you every day. Why? You think you will not be welcome here? I'm so busy with my children and my men, I will not have time to share in your happiness of love. Hmm? Does it show? Uh, my... My love, you can see it? I can see it. And I feel it. And it's the only thing left that can make an old woman cry. Oh, I like you. My grandchild loves you. I love you, too. <laughs> he told me that you thought that he was your son. <laughs> One has little time left. One likes to make up stories. Think what you want to think. If I had no man to wait for, I would not have the reason to see the sun come up. You can't get married here. I'm going to have to go soon. But we'll send for you as soon as we can, I promise. He'd never leave you alone. What temper have I so? There's no time left for me.
Hey, am I? Hey, am I? This is the Edna Bell. This is the Edna Bell. I'll take that message. I'll take that message. Okay? Hey, Fritz. Huh? I wanted to go ashore down here. How'd you go about it? What's the matter? You in trouble with the law? I would have bet on it. You think the captain put me on the beach by asking? Well, you level with him, you might. This is your lucky day. Deepest sympathy. Signed, Brotherhood of Local 309. Hey, kid! Come here. stuff on whatever is sick. <laughs> it's a good thing you don't got sore throat. It tastes like... It's a good thing he's got good eyes. He don't use those hands so good no more this time out. Thank you, Matish. You one damn fool, boy. Maybe before you die, if you're lucky, you get hands like this. Whether you like it or not, they all know about your grandmother. So what? Uh... Say, did the old boy tell you that he knew Maria Elena Razzi when he was a kid whaling in the old country? Just told me this stuff stinks. Mm -hmm. You've had it, huh? This is it. Fishing's okay for us old sea dogs, but not for you. They're too tough for you. You're too smart. Well, now, you got an excuse to chicken out. Look, I tried, damn it, I tried, and you know it. But you've had it. I didn't say it, you did. You're trying to tell me something, kid. What is it? I want you to put me into a port down here before you head north. Afraid to go back to face your own mess? Look, you told me I shouldn't go back unless I was damn sure my luck had changed. And I ain't sure. OK, so you go on the beach. What do you do to eat after you've blown your wad changing your luck? Look, I fish. Skipper, you give me your okay, I can get a job on any clipper working out of Peru or Panama or anywhere down here. All we need is 45 tons to top off. If the weather holds, we can do it tomorrow. Look, I got no time to waste running you into port. Time is money. We're not out here for kicks. <laughs> Yes, uh, 
This is the Edna Bell. This is the Edna Bell. I'm not sure they got a home. Tuna Clipper headed south. This is the Edna Bell. Come on in. Hey, boss. Esos somos nosotros. I knew it. Tuna all over the place. And we can't see it. Tuna Clipper. Tuna Clipper. This is the Edna Bell on your port. Come on in. Uh, that's us. What? Uh, they want you. Shut up. If you want some fish, get on your horn. If I need fish, get on my horn, okay. Hello? 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 This is Selena. Selena, this is Benny. Benito da Sony. Do I need fish? Okay! Out of port! Out of port! You banana pick a out of port! How am I ever going to... I gonna... told you ten times, forget it, buddy. You know, if it weren't for you, I'd have 90 tons of dead fish on my conscience. What's the matter now? Your crew's in a hurry to split. My manana crew's in a hurry to what? Split. Huh? Mm. Our kid's got a new jog in these last five years since you've been fishing out of Pescado. Split what? Ha, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Benny. Well, that means, um, travel. Hit the road. Get going. You know, oh. split. Oh. oh, these kids these days, Benny, you wouldn't believe it. What would you do if your daughter said, bitch? Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you wouldn't stop belting her all day, right? Oh, bitching means real good. It's okay. You got it? No. Well, that's the way it is, buddy. Now, yeah, look, I had eight daughters. You know the trouble I had getting them married? You think my granddaughters go around saying bitching? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should see the boys, buddy. The yeah. way they wear their hair, you wouldn't know them from your granddaughters. Make up alone, yeah. <laughs> I'd still trade you my whole banana picking crew for one stateside kid with salt water in his veins. Hair or no hair. One son of a son of a fisherman with eyes and nose for tuna, and I'd have my boat out of hock in six months. You mean that, Betty? Look at you. You fill up in no time. Me, I don't catch enough tuna to pay for the diesel fuel. You know why? Because I haven't got a good pair of eyes. Mine are old. Fishing is a lousy business at best. And when you're young, you got your mind on the beach. But by the time you got any sense, you haven't got any senses. <laughs> buddy. Uh, hey, buddy. You have anything personal against a kid who's belted a couple of cops? I wouldn't care if he belted his mother, as long as he could spot tuna. Javasco, come down here. 
You got yourself a son of a son of a fisherman. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Done any time you wanted to, you know. I'll stay here as long as you need me. Could be the answer to an old man's prayers. You could be the answer to mine. You, you know the Bible? I mean, the stuff about the return of the prodigal son. Oh. You and me. What does you mean that could be the answer to your prayers? Did I say that? What can I do for you? Five years, I don't pay expenses. Then in just four days, with your eyes, I fill up with tuna. Come on, son. You want to make an old man happy? Ask me for something, OK? from him. Hello. Miss Bernadette Marino? Yes? This is the KMI Marine operator. I have a call for you. Please come and sit for Selena. Selena, your party is on the phone. Please go ahead. Bernadette! Bernadette! This is Mr. Tassoni, the friend of that nice young man you're going to marry. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Press the button. Hello, Bunny. Yes. You still want to get married? Yes. Can you come down to Porto Pescada tomorrow? Tomorrow? She's wrong. Yes. I can do it. Look, Bunny, it's now or never. You know what to say. Tell him not to worry. Thank you. Goodbye. Who was that, Bernadette? Who shouldn't be worried about tomorrow? Edna Bell. Her friend's afraid that I'll go to Peru without returning this, this book that I borrowed. I better go get it now. Good night, Aunt Mary. Oh, I'm glad Mom's got a sister like you. It's not going to be easy leaving everybody and everything. Maybe that's him. Hello? How are you, Teresa? I'm in Puerto de Pescado. I didn't call you from the boat because I didn't want to talk on the radio, but... But I hit it good. We came into port to unload onto a freighter. I'm going out tomorrow and try and fill up again before I head back to Peru. Are you and Bernadette all set? Oh, yes. We can leave the minute you tell us to. Bernadette! Bernadette, it's your father. He's on the phone. Is she all right? Yes. Yes, she's fine. Good luck. Good fishing. Like you're becoming a father for the first time. You're only getting married. Relax and enjoy it. You know, I'm becoming an expert at giving away girls. It's one of the few happy days I remember with my anxious virgins. Hey, Benny, how are you so sure she's coming in on this plane? How can I be so sure? Because it's the only plane. She didn't come in on the only train. She's got to be on the only plane. Do me a favor. Uh -huh. 
Smile. Listen to an old man. Smile. Be happy. Don't think of the bad. Think only of the good. This is the only day in both of your lives when you've got a right to be selfish. You love her and she loves you. That's the only thing that matters. Come on. Make an old man happy. Smile! <laughs> you too. Then you get a kick out of the way he told the priest that uh, he'd already given away eight of his lives and that you were the ninth. Huh? The priest must have thought he flipped his mind. <laughs> I don't think that's funny. I think that's sad. But uh, I know all of this. It's not all this. What is it? I can't help thinking about my mother and father. I love them, too. Yeah, but, Bunny, look, baby, you just got to give them a little time to relax. I know. Look, I bet you one thing. I bet you when I got a little money and we got a baby on the way. But they'll forgive us. They'll forget and forget. Okay. Come on, now. Okay. Okay. Wow. 
Benny dead, what do we do now? Live on love? We can't undo what we've done. Well, if there's a way, I'll find it. I'm not going home. Now I'm out of a job. I'm your wife, huh? Almost. If you don't love me, I'll die. on hurricanes in the Caribbean, from Agnes to Zula. They were teasers next to your Pacific Twisters. You're lucky you were with Sebastian Marino on your first Tabasco. I'll be lucky if it's my last. What ill wind blew you down here? Good fortune. Yeah. What state are you from? When I left, there were 48. This man that fell overboard. Did I know him? No, no, he was a married man. Are there any other kind? <laughs> You're okay, you know that, Angela? You're okay. You don't know a young man with a strong back and a weak mind that wants to go fishing, do you? Yeah. I know a young man and he needs the money. He's good. A good fisherman. If he's so good, what's he doing on the beach? He got married. Yeah. He's gotta be good. I knew his father. If this kid's got this much of his old man, he's bound to be 10 times better than any banana picker you'll find down here. This man from the States? Yeah. Portuguese, too. Where is he? I'll find him for you. What time are you going out? Tell him to be on the boat before daybreak. You mind the shop. Here, I have one on the house. I'm mining the shop. Yeah, who is it? Angela. Who? Angela from the Happy House. You need a good boat to make money fast? Look, uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? tomorrow now. They're sailing at daybreak. The skip is from San Diego. All right. Wait a minute, I'll be right on.
so funny. It just reminded me of someone I used to know. You got me on this clipper? I sold you to him. Yeah, well, maybe I don't want to be sold. Well, whether you do or not, you got to make money. You're married now. Yeah, but I don't have to go fishing. Well, even if you could do something beside fish, you can't work down here. Why not? There's a law against it. I can't, but you can, huh? Is that it? I'm legal. You're legal. And I'm not. Whew, boy, that's the story of my life. You got me on this boat? Full share. Don't worry about her. I'll see she's all right. Look, uh, you, you just do me a favor and see if she gets on that plane for me, will you? Carino. Down here ain't like our country. Nobody bothers a good woman. That church we're married in means something. How much time I got? Half hour. You stop by the happy house. I'll introduce you to the skipper, okay? I'm not going home. Well, I ain't going fishing either. Your grandmother said to me, never leave his bed. My grandmother spent half her life alone in bed. That's not what she meant. You I know what she meant. Bunny, I ain't gonna leave you down here alone. I won't be alone. All you got here is that puta. <sighs> well, I don't care what she is. She's a friend, and that's what I need. You know what's wrong with me, don't you? Yes. Yes. You're so smart, huh? What? You couldn't say I love you. You're right, but I said it today, didn't I? Mm -hmm. I'll say it again. I love you. 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 Why don't you shut up, you? You mosquito. Thought you said you were going back to work tonight. I changed my mind. I can afford to. <laughs> you can, huh? Sure. I thought maybe, um, you might change your mind. You know, you don't have to see she gets on that plane now. She's gonna stay here. Good. She's right, you know. You know her. Sure I know. Come on in and meet your new boss. Hey, now, wait a minute. I thought you said I had this job. Do I or don't I? Chubasquito. Go fish. Make money. Don't worry about her. I'll treat her like all my girls who get married in church. OK?
Good morning, Skipper. Weather's perfect. We're about 10 miles out on 220 degrees. I'm going up and find us some fish. Stay at the wheel. I knew, kid, get him up there. See if he's as good as you said he was. Cowboy most of my life. And I can swim too. Let me take it. And Angela really knows the tuna man when she sees one. For me, sir. After a day like today, a shot like this will knock me out. You told that kid to come up here, didn't you? He was really slimy from working in the freezers. He'll be here in a minute. Here's today's like today. That make up for all those bad months. To that new kid. He sure has the blood for fishing. You say he got married in Puerto de Pescado, huh? 
Angela's girls must make good wives. He really married one of Angela's girls. She gave the party. Here he is, Skipper. thing going fishing. You started a new life, huh? Yeah, well, I hope so. I like it out here. I'll shake that. This is a clipper ship, Bernadette. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm ready for my appointment call. Hello? Hello? How are you, Sebastian? Okay. You and Bernadette plan to leave in a couple of days. Okay? <laughs> Sound like he need only one 20 ton set to have a full load. Skipper sounds like he's already loaded.
kid thought fast. If it weren't for him. Yeah, I'll see that he gets what he deserves. Set the automatic fire at 32 degrees. What did he pescado? Yeah, we'll pick up what fish we need on the way in. I want that kid off this boat. If you've got any questions, forget them. the water out of his lungs. Get it out! Get my oxygen kit from my cabin. Hurry up!
God's alive. Thank God he's alive. You need someone up. Get that stuff from the drawer into my bunk. You're gonna be okay, son. Your luck's changed. If that block had hit you on the head, you would have had it. You better not let anything happen to you while you're fishing with me. My daughter... You didn't marry her, didn't you? Did you hear what I said? As long as you're fishing with me, nothing's gonna happen to you. Your wife will never forgive me. Okay? Ship shape. Dreamed for, but more than I had dreamed for. 